Hello viewers, today's lecture is on Lakshmi, the concert of Vishnu. The main purpose of this lecture is to notice how Lakshmi appears in ancient texts of India. Lakshmi is one of the most popular goddesses of the Hindus, the Buddhists and the Jainas. She is regarded to be the goddess of fortune, fertility and beauty. Persons who are desires of attaining material prosperity supposed to worship her. Rather, a special worship is enjoyed in her honor in the last night of the dark half of the month of Kartik every year. She is the goddess of the household. She is depicted as a beautiful woman standing on a blooming lotus flower. Gold coins cascade from one of her four hands and in fact the word Lakshmi is often used as a synonym for wealth among Hindus. In another hand she holds a lotus bud symbolizing purity, beauty and fertility. Her four hands are said to represent the four aims of life described in the Vedas, namely dharma, religion, artha, economic gain, kama, material pleasure and moksha, depression. In Shri Shukta, a late supplement of the Rig Veda, she is called the one who just of the lotus, but the many, the one standing on lotus, Padma Sthita, the lotus colored, Padma Varna, and the lotus born, Padma Sambhava. She is lotus eyed Padmakshi, has her thighs lotus like, Padmaru, has a lotus face, Padmana, dwells in the lotus lake, Sarasi Janilaya, is fond of the lotus, Padma pray and carries a lotus in her hand. Padma Hasta. She is delighted by the transcending of elephants. Hasta Nada Paramodhani. She wears garland of gold and silver and is the very embodiment of royal splendor, bestowing fame, kirti and success, riddhi and granting prosperity and long life. She is the goddess Art, Kasama Devi and mother of all creatures, Prajnam Bhavasti Mata. In the epics like Ramayana and Mahabharata, she attains her full iconographic importance. She is said to have been churned out of the ocean along with the Ucha Chasivara horse, 
nectar, wine, etc. And she came to the shear of Vishnu. She is treated in the epic as the mother of Kamadeva. She wore on her hand a makra as an auspicious symbol. In some passages of the Mahabharata, she is associated with Kuvira, the god of wealth. It is this idea that gives the Buddhist Pantheon a goddess Vasudhara, flow of wealth, a name suggestive of one of the most important symbols of Shiri as the concert of Jambal, the Buddhist counterpart of the Hindu Kovira. Vasudhara has a sheet of corn in her head. Here is a synchronizing of two notions, Dhana Lakshmi and Dhyana Lakshmi, justified by the name and the object in her hand. In the Ramayana, she is said to be represented on Kubera's car with lotus in her hand. In some later epic passages, she is named as Kubera's consort. In the Buddhist literature, the goddess Lakshmi occupies prestigious place. In the Dhamapada Atakatha, she is simply the goddess who gives luck to the kingdom. Raja Shridhaika Devata, an epithet which goes with her conception in the Gupta period. In the Shri Kala Khani Jataka, Shri Mata, recent of the East, is made to say, I preside over the course of conduct that keeps lordship to mankind. I am beauty, Shri, fortune, Lakshmi, and prudence, Bhuripana. Shri Lakshmi maintains her auspicious character in the Jena literature. In the Kalapa Sutra, Shri is one of the 14 auspicious names of Trishna, foretelling the birth of Mahavira. She is described as wearing a garland of dinars, gold coins, on her breast. In the medieval Hindu literature, Shri Lakshmi occupies the highest place. As a goddess of fortune, lotus in hand, she consorted with kings. The oldest text, Avilasha Tartha Chintamani, describes as white complexion seated on a lotus holding Shri Pala in her right hand and lotus in the left with two elephants anointing her. According to the Naya Samgrahara, she would have lotus in her hand, a lotus garland and elephants bathing her. In the Matasya Puran, 
mentions that Gaja Lakshmi bathed by two elephants should carry Shri Phala and lotus in her hands. She is of golden colour. She is seated on a lotus. According to Shilparatna, she has two or four hands and mentions that the two armed figures accompanying Vishnu should have Vilva fruit in the right and lotus in the left hands. According to the Vishnu Dharmutra, when accompanied by Hari, she should have two arms carrying lotuses in them. But when represented separately, she should have four hands. Seated upon a lotus pericarp and holding a lotus with a long stuck. In her right hand and a nectar pot in the left, with a conch and a bilva fruit in the remaining ones. On either side of an elephant emptying water on her head from pots, presented by attendant celestial maidens. The same text narrates that Lakshmi should be shown with the lotus as her face. The flower itself replacing her human face. It is only Vishnu Dharmutra that explains the presence of a lotus in the place of the human head and explains its presence by describing it as her sabhagya. In the face of Devi, a lotus is said to be potent. That is her sabhagya. Beauty, luck and feminine grace. The conch, which is also associated with her, as well as the bilva fruit, and all that is of the essence of water, and pride in nature, and the lotus in her hand, is all her prosperity and treasures. Vishnu Dharmutra describes that the glory of Lakshmi is so great that she does not stop with being only the concert of Vishnu or the highest source of prosperity. She is attended by goddesses that are nearly her equals. Equally reflecting aspects of Lakshmi gazing and flanking her. Rajyashiri or the goddess of royal prosperity and Swarga Lakshmi or the goddess of prosperity that Asuras heavenly pleasures in addition to Brahmi Lakshmi the goddess of spirituality on its jainth. Jaya Lakshmi, the goddess of prosperity in victory, all of them most charming in form and attractively bejeweled. She is the mother of universe, Lokmata, and ever with Madhu Sudhana as the very lotus on which she rests in 
ریشنا ساندریا لہری آف شنکرا ایکسپلینز دا انٹرسٹنگ گلوری آف دیوی ہو ریفرز ٹو دا یوزول موڈ آف جسٹریکولیشن آف دا ہینڈس آف ادر سلیشیلس ان ابھائے اینڈ واردا رسپیکٹیولی پروڈکٹیو اینڈ مون آفرنگ وچ ان ہر کیسز سپروس ایز شی بینگ دا گریٹسٹ ریفیوز آف دا ورلڈس ایز کیپیبل آف پروٹیکٹنگ فرام اینی ڈینجر اینڈ آفرنگ باؤنٹی بیونڈ آل دیٹ مے بی ڈیزائرڈ بائی ہر ڈیووٹیز جسٹ تھرو ہر فیٹ دین سینس شی از کالڈ پرکتی دا ویری فرسٹ نیم آف دا لکشمی آستوترا ون ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ایٹ نیمس آف لکشمی دا مدر دیٹ is the origin of all creation. The next epithet is Vakriti. She is the origin and the originated. Mukha gives this concept in Arya Sataka. She is associated with Vishnu. Maya and as pointed out by Naka Swami, she has been described in the Tamil work Takka Yaga Parani, Takka Yaga Parani as the form of Mohini of Vishnu that distributed empire among the Devatas. drawing it to the asuras all texts describe her as well dressed decked with various ornaments having such physical traits as fully developed breasts a narrow waist and heavy buttocks the two consorts of Vishnu are Lakshmi, Wealth and Prithvi Arth. The former is seated or standing on a red lotus pedestal, has four hands, holds two lotus flowers in her upper arms and the other two hands being either in the moon giving and protecting postures or holding a vessel and a fruit. She is said to have sprung from the ocean at the time of its being churned for nectar. The later Prithvi has only two hands of which the right is raised in the Abhaya Mudra posture and the left holds the fruit of the pomegranate. Her left leg is represented also as stopping upon a part of triggers. When Lakshmi accompanies Vishnu, she has only two hands. Eight forms of Lakshmi are recognized. Of these, Gaj Lakshmi is the most popular. She is generally found figured on the lintels of door frames and has four arms and is seated in the same posture as Vinayaka on a full-blown lotus of eight. The Manasara describes the same goddess with two hands 
as Samanya Lakshmi and says that she is figured on doorways. In the Shilpasara, this goddess is called the two-handed Indra Lakshmi. The Padma Purana mentions eight shaktis of the protecting god Vishnu, Vizlai Shiri, Bhu, Saraswati, Prithi, Kirti, Shanti, Tusti and Pushti. These goddesses of wealth, earth, learning, love, fame, peace, player and strength extra are the channels through which the protective energies of Vishnu are brought into play. Another of the eight Lakshmis is Mahalakshmi who has four hands in which she holds a vessel, the club, Komodak, the shield and the bell fruit. A special feature of this Mahalakshmi is that she wears a linga on her head. When standing or seated on a lotus with lotus flowers in two upper hands and the Varda Mudra and Abhay Mudra in the lower. Lakshmi received the title Veera Lakshmi. Kalhapura Mahalakshmi is stated in the Shilpasara to have six arms in three of which are hood, the club, shield and wine the Shri Shukta praises Lakshmi as the goddess of prosperity standing on the lotus flower, slightly bent on account of the weight of her breasts, having high hips, broad lotus like eyes and deep navel pit dressed in white cloth and bathed by heavenly elephants from golden jars which are bedecked with a variety of jewels and holding lotuses in her hands. The Kalapa Briksha is the noblest and most coveted of the celestial objects. One obtained as a gem that rose out of the ocean along with the moon and goddess of prosperity herself. It is therefore called by Kalidas, Surara J. Priksha, the tree of the sovereign of the celestials. Itself a Vrikshraja. Lord among noble trees. This is the very thought in the mind of the poet when he compares the Kalapa Vriksha with its sister Lakshmi, arising out of the ocean to the Naga king Kumudha, the fifth in descent from the Takshaka, with his sister Kumud. Vati, rising from beneath the stream of the Sarayu river to uh, cost uh, Kusha. Another image of Vishnu just in the guise of sun and offer him the princess even as Lakshmi offered to Narayana. Lakshmi has been conceived in India, not only as the goddess of birth, 
or region, sustenance, light, prosperity and charm, but has also been pictured as the very abode of power, as the protector, as the one who by her grace through her sight long glances could sustain the universe itself. The concept of Lakshmi is indeed the greatest glorification of the feminine aspect of the Almighty. And in India, where the mother is everything, the Almighty is conceived in every way as the universal mother embodied in the name Ma. Shri Ma. Thank you.